What is up guys, this is PC Gaming 300 back for another tutorial for you guys and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to speed up your computer so with this you should be able to do your basic tasks without your computer being slow uh, this does not mean that you, you'll be able to play Crisis 3 on the highest settings on your $300 Dell laptop but as I said you can increase your computer's performance drastically so most of these uh, most of these steps will not take away from your computer's appearance. That was my main goal is just to speed up your computer without sacrificing your actual experience. So basically what I'm gonna do is first of all, the easiest thing which you can do is go down here to your battery and click on it and go to more power options. Now for you, it's probably set on balanced or maximum battery life. Set it to maximum performance. This will drastically improve your computer's performance. Now, I don't know if you can do this on a desktop, but I know you can do it on a laptop, but you can try it on desktop anyway. But if you are on a laptop, this may take, this will take away from your computer's battery life a bit, but it will be well worth it as it does improve your computer's performance a lot. Now, if you have, depending on your uh, computer uh, manufacturer you may have some extra options for example I have Lenovo so I have this thing which I can click on over here if you have it like Asus or I don't know you might have something different but I have that because I have Lenovo so that's the first thing which you, which you can do the second thing which you can do is actually upgrading uh, your computer's virtual RAM now what this does it basically takes uh, a few gigabytes of um, memory from your hard drive and basically what it does it con is it converts it into RAM so your computer is it tricks your computer into thinking that it is actual RAM and it basically uses it like RAM. So for example, now there's a limited amount of this you can use, but for example, my computer used, I have six gigabytes of physical RAM inside my computer, but now with virtual RAM upgrade, I have about just under nine gigabytes of actual RAM. So this really helps out. I already did a tutorial on this a few months ago, so I'll have the video playing on the screen right now. You can click on it, pause this video, click on it, watch that, and then come back. That also really helps your computer's performance. And it does not include any downloads. It's something built into the system. Microsoft allows you to do it, so you can just do it. Uh, the next thing which you can do is go to your start button. If you're on Windows 8, you just want to go to your search bar. If you're on Windows XP, you just want to go to run. And you want to type in uh, MS conf config just like that press enter this basically takes you to your system configuration I don't know why it's not opening Wait, there we go uh, this takes you to, to your system configuration now go all the way to the right and click on startup and this is all the things that are starting up when you turn on your computer so as you can see I have quite a bit of stuff now for example I do not need Adobe Reader opening up one of my or I don't need anything from Adobe reader like starting up with my computer startup this will really improve uh, your startup for example like before if after I started up my computer I would have to wait about 30 seconds for my till I can actually use my computer because I would see that little loading thing now I can I only need like basically automatically I can just start using my computer but for example you will see something like Microsoft uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 operating system if you have common sense, you should know this, but I'll just tell you this right now. Do not uncheck that because that is your operating system. And basically just, I think it's this one, right? Uh, I, I don't know. I think it's this, but you, but you don't want, yeah, for example, you don't want to uh, like uncheck Windows 8 operating system or Windows 7, Windows, uh, Windows 7 operating system because you will seriously screw, screw up your computer and you will need to reinstall Windows 1 again and you will lose all your files. So... That is probably not a smart thing to do, just to let you know. Uh, let me just go away from this. And another thing which you can do is go back to your start button and search up percent or yeah, percent temp percent. And this will take you all to your temporary files. Now, basically over here, I have all the stuff. I can just uh, delete all the stuff because I really don't need it. So uh, basically you just delete it. And on the I won't do it right now just to save time, but um, basically, when you delete it, it'll delete all your temporary files, but if you see something like where it says it cannot delete the file, just click on skip because those are things you just cannot delete and things that you'll need. So just click on skip. Uh, that's it for that. Now, the next thing which you can do is your desktop. Now, if you have a slideshow playing in, on your computer and you're wondering why your computer is slow, that may be why your computer is slow. It may be surprising to you, but if you have like a slideshow going on on your computer's desktop, that really takes away from your computer's performance. So 
or even if you have like a picture like I have, like you can see all those little details, like those that also takes away from your from your computer's performance. So you just want to right click on your desktop, go to personalize, and you just want to uh, change it to something like like this, like the Windows theme, because it doesn't have too much detail. It will improve your performance, and yeah, basically that's what it does. So you want to go out of this, and once again, another thing on your desktop is your desktop icons. Now, I don't, I wouldn't say I have a lot, but I have a fair bit of desktop icons. If you can find anything which you can just, which you don't need to be on your desktop, you could do that. Like for example, fonts. I don't really think I need that on my desktop, or this, or a lot of stuff. I don't really need it on my desktop. But uh, you can just take it out, or if you still want it there, what you can do is you can right-click on your desktop once again, go to View, and you can just uh, click on Show Desktop Icons, Desktop Icons, and it'll basically just disappear, and whenever you want to use whatever is on your desktop, you can just click on it again, and it'll just pop back. So that's another way, and once again, right-click on your desktop, this is another way, another thing which you can do is just go to Screen Resolution. Now, I'm, I have mine at the highest, which I can get on my computer, but you can just change it to something now if, don't go over here because then you'll have like a little box on your screen it'll be a really bad so I would just suggest turning it down a little bit because you know just to not take away from your computer's performance too much and that's another thing which you can do to basically just improve your computer's performance now another thing which you can do is you can click on your documents and then over here just go to computer and you just want to right click on your hard drive, whichever one you have, like local disk for me. Just click on properties, your C drive. Um, what you want to do over here is click on disk cleanup. And this just takes out anything which you really don't need. Now, don't worry, this won't delete your programs. This won't delete your files. All it does is it just takes out like random stuff like temporary files, internet files, like things which you really don't need and you probably don't really care about. But over time, these do build up and they do slow down your computer. So. As you can see, like your recycling bin, your thumbnails, and you can just select whatever you want. So basically, that's what that does. Now, on the same screen, you want to go to the tools bar, and you just want to go to air checking and click on check. Now, I'm not going to do this because this does take around an hour or so, but basically, this is very important. I would suggest you do this like once, um, I don't know, once a while, once in a while, once every few months. And basically, what it does is it checks for, it checks for, uh, errors in your hard drive it checks if there's anything corrupt in your hard drive and this will and this is basically if you have any problems with your hard drive it's just a warning that uh, your hard drive may be corrupted and you can fix it before you get the blue screen of death basically so that's a good way of um, you know being ahead of uh, before your computer gets completely messed up now a lot of people say to do the disk defragmentation tool do this now this does improve your computer's performance most of the time but sometimes this actually can um, kind of uh, ruin your computer's hard drive, so I wouldn't recommend you do it, but if you want to take the risk, you can, and if it works, which it probably will, then your computer will, you will see a difference in your computer's performance in a positive way. Now, once you're over here, you want to go to uninstall or change a program. Um, if you do, don't see it there, you can just go to control panel, and you can just go to uninstall a program, and you'll come to the same screen. So over here, if you have something like uh, Norden, unless if you're actually paying for Norden, because most PCs, I believe, uh, most PCs, if not all PCs, come with uh, come with an, a free trial of Norden free. So that is still installed on your computer if your trial is finished. And you would, I would just delete that because that does slow down your computer a bit, I believe. And if you have something like McAfee, I would suggest you uninstall that as well and replace it with a better and free antivirus like Avast, I use Avast, you can also use AVG, Microsoft Security Essentials, or just something much better than McAfee. I still have Site Advisor because that actually works pretty good to be honest with you. But anyway, you can just do that and you can uninstall anything else which you don't really need. So let me just get out of this screen. And I and one of the last things you can do is you can uh, click on your start button, right click on computer, go to properties, uh, if you're on Windows 8, you can go to the right side, you can click on your system information, or if that sounded a bit too confusing, you can go to your documents, you can just right-click on your your computer and hit properties and you'll get the same screen. So what you want to do over here is you want to actually go to uh, advanced system settings. Over here on performance, you just want to click on settings and you just want to, over here on the visual effects tab, uh, over here, as you can see, it's set for best appearance and by default, yours is probably also set on best appearance. What you want to do if your computer, this is for mainly for people who have really slow computers, but you can just set on adjust for best performance. Basically what this does, it, it gets rid of all this like 
unnecessary animations like for example like my taskbar may not look as nice like it doesn't won't have all these nice textures to it like when i put hover my cursor around an icon i won't get this or i won't have all those random shadows um you will still be able to get most of pretty much all the features of your operating system but it just won't look as nice like like it'll have a vintage windows style look to it like for example i can still i would still be able to go to my start button and search things up but you know it won't look as nice now, if you're someone who just wants a little bit of a boost, you can just go to custom and you can just, uh, let me just go back to yeah, the best appearance. You can just go to custom and you can just select the things you want. For example, if you don't want smooth scroll list boxes, smooth scroll li list boxes, you can just uncheck that if you don't need it, whatever. And that's just a nice way to improve your computer's performance. Now, another thing which you can do is on this screen, once again, this is the last thing you can do is go to device manager, go to action, uh, click on this first of all, your computer name, click on action, and just scan for hardware changes. This basically just updates all your drivers for all your hardware, so this will improve your performance as well. Uh, so those are pretty much all the main ways. There are a lot of other like small things which you can do which may boost your performance. These are, these are all the main ways on how to improve your computer's performance. If you guys found this video helpful, if it sped up your computer, please leave a like, please subscribe, please share, please favorite, do all that good stuff. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials like this, and hope you guys had a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time.